Sir, may I come in? Crease, any results on that thing I asked you to look into? Yes, sir. For starters, this bullet you gave me. Its shape and markings perfectly match rounds used by an experimental Gallian sniper rifle. I see. So Alicia really was shot by someone inside the Gallian force. So, any leads on who fired it? Yes, sir. It... Tell me, Kreese. The night before the shooting, records show Lieutenant Lanzett checked out the rifle. What? Faldio had the gun? Are you sure that's not some mistake? It's rare for a tank commander to ask for a sniper rifle, so the clerk remembered him. Sir, only two of those rifles exist right now. One is confirmed to be locked in the arsenal. The other was checked out to Lieutenant Lanzett and has yet to be returned. I can't. It's hard for me to believe, too. Valdio? It couldn't be. Hey, Faldio, you in? I guess not. Notes on the Valkyrian race. The anthropology of the Valkyra. Maybe he was reading up on the enemy. Hmm? This is his handwriting. Alicia must be made to awaken. What? Alicia must be made to awaken. No matter how much I try, I can think of no other way. I almost wish I had never joined them on that expedition to the Barius ruins. I'm convinced that the inner chamber was built to admit only Valkyra. But the door opened at her touch. That could only mean that the blood of their tribe courses through her veins. Still, I was shocked to find her bathed in that uncanny light that night in the field. Though I doubted my eyes, I never once doubted. That light was the Valkyrian blue flame. Ultimately, I had no choice but to accept the simple truth that Alicia is one of them. I'd already begun to question all I knew. The walls of the temple sanctum were inscribed with the Valkyrie's account of history. History as it truly was. We are all taught of the darks and calamity, and how their actions forever scorch the land. But this account told a different story. The Valkyrie invaded this land from the north, slaying the indigenous darks and people as they came. Their grasp of Ragnite technology and the art of war were vastly superior. They trained the destructive power of Ragnite on the Darkson's land, burned it to ash, then had the gall to pass the blame for their inhuman deeds off on their Darkson slaves. Darksons have borne that stigma ever since, while the Valkyrie became godlike saviors. The victors simply rewrote the history books.
The Barrios ruins promulgate a lie to all but their own descendants as hard fact. Reading about the Valkyrie's power, the true face of these saviors, left me stunned. Yet at the same time, I cannot help but think of how useful it could be to us now. Since then, I've investigated every text and report on the Valkyrie I could find. They lead me to believe that at least a few scions of the Valkyrie must have survived to this day. All across Europa, these rare individuals live and die unaware of their own nature. But history has recorded rare cases of individuals who have awakened to their powers. Their stories share one common thread. All of them suffered grave wounds before awakening. If those accounts are correct, the blood of the Valkyrie stirs at the approach of death. Their power, having slept for thousands of years, bursts awake at one step shy of the end. Once awakened, if one of these individuals takes hold of the refined Ragnite arms of their ancestors, they make their mark on history as one of the Valkyrie of old. I couldn't stop myself. I stole the Valkyrian lance and shield out of the university archive. Supposedly their blood serves to amplify the Ragnite's natural power. I have no idea what science lies behind it. Perhaps it's a consequence of their origins in the Ragnite-rich northern regions. Regardless of the reason, the Valkyria's life force itself calls forth a reaction from the stone. The enemy Valkyria decimated our forces on the Nagyar Plains. I could not afford to stay my hand on account of ethics. I had the rifle, and I forced myself to use it. I shot her. I placed the lance and shield on her unconscious form. I was racked with insecurity and guilt, hands red with blood of my best friend's love. But now I know, the choice I made was right. Hello, Lieutenant Gunther. Is something wrong? Faldio, where is he? Sir, Captain Verat just called him in. He left only a minute ago. Faldio, I'm only going to ask you this once. Was it you who shot Alicia? Yeah. I shot her. <laughs> Tell me why. Why did you have to shoot her? The people. Galia needed her. Now let me ask you a question. How else do you think we could have won that battle? If not for Alicia's power, Galia would have most certainly lost. I still can't. And not just this battle. I'm talking about Galia's future. How else are we supposed to survive, Welkin? Caught on either side by giants. It's Alicia. Our Valkyria. She's the only one who can protect us from them. Wrong. Our side gaining power won't end this war. All it does is escalate the conflict! That's enough. 
listen to each other. You may both be right, but still, you're both very wrong. I don't claim to have the perfect answer either. However, regardless of the reason, attacking one of your own comrades is deplorable. By Gallian military law, I remand you to the stockade until further notice, Faldio. And you, Welkin. 24 hours in isolation for engaging in fisticuffs. <sighs> Thanks to the victory at Nagyar, our forces have pushed the enemy back to the border. The Imperials are currently holed up in the Citadel at Girlendio. Girlendio? A crucial checkpoint along the commerce routes tying Gallia to the east since medieval times, the pass at Girlendio had been fortified for ages. The existing structure was rebuilt as a modern fortress during the First European War, and its grounds were littered with the casualties of war. In the current war, it housed the Empire's command center, and now it stood as their final stronghold. What's our strategy for attacking the Citadel, Captain? Hmm. I still haven't received any details on our orders from above yet. Oh, stop your worrying, Verat! I came here myself to give you your orders! General Damon? I'm honored, but why not just send a messenger? Your regiment really showed him up out there at Nagyar! In return, I'm granting you the honor of assaulting the Citadel at the van of the army. Sir? Here are your orders. There's a supply line running into the Citadel. We're sending a train car loaded down with explosives along it to blow us an entrance. The militia will run along the track ahead of it, flipping the right rail switches. Flipping rail switches, sir? This while dodging a hailstorm of bullets? That sounds like a suicide mission, sir. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's the perfect challenge for your fearless crew. If we succeed here, the Empire will finally be forced out of Gallia for good. You'll pave the way for the real army. You got that, Farat? Damn it! Another mission they don't have the guts to do themselves. Maybe. But it's a mission that somebody still needs to do. Precisely. As the General said, if we win, the Empire will be driven out of Gallia. Let this be our final battle. I'll await good news from the field. Dismissed. incident grows old and stale. Silvaria, what news have you from the front? Sire, they seek to push our soldiers past the border, and the total of their forces approach those of our own. I see. The advantage now begins to sway towards the other side. It seems the loss at Nagyar has ended our hopes of strolling through the gates of Rondkrees. The fault lies with me. This would be over, had I but won at Nagyar. Your Grace, 
Grant me another chance, I beg you. Please allow me to fight for your glory, sire. Dear Silvaria, do you truly wish to be of help? Yes, more than anything. From the time you saved me, Your Grace, I've... known... that I love you more than I do my own life. Sire, I want to work in the service of your dreams. Very well. So, Silvaria, you report that the strength of our opponent now matches our own. In that case, let the fire of destruction rain down upon them. Use the final flame of the Valkyria. But... Your grace! The hour of your death shall mark the inauguration of our rule. Farewell, Silvaria. Can't say I'm impressed, your grace. Making a lady cry? This is simply one of a number of scenarios we'd planned for since before Nagyar. If her prowess as a Valkyria is insufficient, Selvaria's uses quickly narrow to one alone. <laughs> anyway, there's a messenger here for you straight from Castle Randgris. So there is. Let him wait. I have no time for simple messengers now. We are set to commence Operation Steel Scythe. Jaeger, prepare to return back east. What? Then it's... the Marmota's finished? It is. Word has come that it has completed its trial run. The Galleons are hasty to assume victory. We shall see them gutted yet. I'm sorry. Is everybody here? No. Still no Alicia, boss. Right. Well, let's start. I already heard from another squad. We're prepping some tracks for a bomb. That's right. It's a rough one, but this is a critical mission. Ah, uh, this is the militia. We're used to getting all the bomb missions by now. With that settled, there's one question I gotta ask you, boss. Alicia's Valkyria powers and all. You plan to use those this time, too? No, Largo, of course I don't. I have faith in your natural abilities. Who needs Valkyra when I've got you all? Good answer. I'd expect no less from you, boss. We're ready for anything out there. After all, this could very well be it. Yeah, we're fine. You go be with Alicia, boss. She needs you real bad right now. All right. You all know what you're doing. But does he? This is a tough one. Even for Nature Boy. Having Alicia and the boss moping around is a drag for the whole squad. I hope for everyone's sake they can pull out of this funk real soon. Alicia, there you are. What's up? Look at this, Welkin. Guess what? I found some lion's paw growing while I was out on my walk. Here you go. Very sharp. 
Makes you look like a real gentleman. Uh, well, thank you. Wilkin. They said it was Faldio. Is it true? Afraid so. Then when I... When I walked through camp before... Some of them got down on their knees, like they were worshipping me. Praise the Valkyria. The Godchild. They... They were... Begging me to save Galia. Me. I mean... What am I supposed to say to that? Alicia, I... What kind of life can... can I live from now on? I wish I knew. <sighs> wow, I'm sorry. Guess that was pretty heavy. Here we are, right before the last battle, and I'm not helping things one little bit. Don't worry about me. Sergeant Alicia Melkiot, sir. Reporting. And ready for duty. My mind is focused on the mission. See you later, boss. Alicia. Great! There's a clear path to the Citadel! Proud warriors of Gallia, I must commend you. You have breached Girlandio's gates! Look up there! The Valkyria! We meet again. It looks like fate is toying with us. You have already defeated me once, as a Valkyria. Still, I have come to fight you again. It's a matter of pride. But this time, I will face you as a woman. This will be our last time, then. One of us is going to die here. Now, we fight! You have defeated me. It's over. I need to ask you. Tell me. How do you live as a Valkyria? How do you deal with the weight of that all the time? I fought because... I loved him. And what drove you to take up the lance? It wasn't voluntary. The truth is, I never became one because I wanted to. And even now, I... I still don't know what to do. It confuses me. It scares me. I see. You bear a heavy burden. Without the aid of purpose. So I was defeated. By a girl without commitment to a cause. <laughs> Freeze right there, war witch! Hands up! No funny business! The Valkyria. Good work. General. There was no call for violence. She had surrendered. Watch your mouth, impertinent peasant. She uses evil magic. She's dangerous. The only way I'm comfortable with her is when she's unconscious. Please, Lord General. In the name of mercy, I beg you. Hmm? All right, then. Out with it! Do with me what you will. I ask only one thing. Spare the lives of the men you've taken captive. Spare them, and let the militia escort them to their fate. Hmm. Good idea. Rats escorting rats. Sounds like a perfect match. Stand up, witch! <sighs> found the purpose to justify my life. I don't think there's much chance we'll be meeting again. 
That said, I'll admit I am curious. When the time comes to make a choice, what cause will your life finally serve? Farewell. <laughs> a glorious victory! Send word to Rangrees immediately! Tell them that Damon has taken Garlandio! <laughs> I can easily get used to this! It's my throne for a day! General, you look like you belong there, considering what you've accomplished. Yes! After dealing the final blow to the Empire, I proceeded to capture the Valkyrie alive! Damn it, there's more glory to be had than that! Come to think of it, that promotion to Marshal may not be far off! <laughs> General. Yeah? The crew you sent with the prisoners. When did they all leave? Well, now. Let's see. I guess around three hours ago. Excellent. That should be enough time. For what?! You're just a bird in a cage now. A cage from which you will never emerge! Have you forgotten yourself, witch? You are the one who has forgotten, General. What? <sighs> Witness the power of the Valkyria's flame. Fed by the dying embers of her own life, it blossoms into Hell's own inferno. Mm. Hey! What are you doing? Shoot her! What the? The whole damn Citadel's up and erased! No way! Is this part of the Valkyria's power too? The blast claimed all of Galia's main army. Alvaria, so this is the purpose of your life? Welcome! Welcome. Bad news. Calm yourself down, Hell. What's bigger news than what we just saw? I just got word from Randgrease. An emergency dispatch. A massive unidentified weapon is barreling through Cloden en route to Randgrease now. What? Are you serious? in Wildwood is but a tender flower patch before the Marmota. Your Grace, a massive explosion was reported at the Citadel at Girlandio, sir. Our rear guard and Galia's primary force were both caught in the blast and obliterated. I see. And Selvaria has performed her duty. Now nothing remains to stay our hand. Continue the march to the Galleon capital.
The Empire's ultimate weapon passed unhindered through the thick of Cloden's woods, said to be impenetrable to all but bird and beast, and continued its juggernaut march north towards the gates of Castle Randgris. Leaving the former site of the Citadel at Girlendio behind, the militia raced to the capital's southern gates to intercept it. Everyone, we've received intelligence on the weapon coming through Cloden's forest. The report identifies it as one of their most tightly guarded development projects. It closely matches plans for a terrestrial dreadnought, Marmota. It's heavily armored and carries a host of large caliber cannons. A battleship on legs. Leave it to the imps. It's one ridiculous tank after the other from these people. Furthermore, it is likely that Maximilian is aboard the Marmota in person. Are you serious? How do you get there so quickly? Regardless, we need to stop that thing, or the capital will be in danger. Oh sure, just gotta stop it. It's a battleship, boss! How are we gonna stop it? We'll be cooperating with the Randgrees Royal Guard in effecting Operation Maiden's Shield. Our job is to lure the Marmota into a canyon the Guard has lined with mines. Beyond the mines, they'll be concentrating all of their firepower to stop it. Leading it into a minefield, huh? So we're the bait. Unfortunately, yes. With Galia's army vaporized, this plan is our only real option. Once they get out on open land, there's no stopping them. It has to happen in that gully. Dreadnought. I still can't even imagine. Welkin. Alicia, what's wrong? You look kind of down. <sighs> it's nothing. I'm fine. Now let's go beat us up a battleship. Highness, the Empire's Dreadnought approaches at great speed. Thank you. The Royal Guard and Militia were deployed in a tandem operation, but the outlook is grim. We understand. We shall join them on the field. Fetch here the Royal Armaments and tell the Castle Guard to assemble outside. Your Highness, where do you intend to go? idly sit atop a throne while the nation crumbles around me. It is the office of the Archduke's duty to fight for the safety of its people. Ah, yes. But that would be inconvenient, Highness. I ask you, make no foolish choices. Borg, what is the meaning of this? You are a precious bargaining chip alive. It would not do to allow you to simply leave. Bargaining chip? You plan to sell our nation to the Empire then? Perish the thought, dear princess. Galia is about to be reborn a new child. As a glorious kingdom with me as its king.
raining cannibals on that thing, and it ain't flinching. And now it's pretty much clear of the gully. Well, boss, what's your plan? No wonder of nature up your sleeve to fix this one, Lieutenant? Hey, that a person out there? What are they thinking? What? That's Alicia. She's going to attack that thing all by herself. That's insane! <laughs> what does she think she can do against that juggernaut? Alicia! Wait a minute! Where are you going? Forgive me, Logan. I shouldn't have just left. Not without saying goodbye. I've been thinking this whole time, Logan. Wondering why I was born like I am. A Valkyria. If only I weren't a Valkyria, things would be just like they were before, wouldn't they? But no. That is one way. But I have found another. I know how I can give my life as a Valkyria meaning. I can use my power. I can stop this thing. I'll stoke my life fire into a blaze. I'll save you. I'll save Brule, my friends, and everyone else in Galia. She wouldn't! Fool! What does she think to do? Sacrifice herself and take the Marmota down with her? Fine. 45 degrees to port! All ahead full! Now! <laughs> Alicia! Welcome! Why are you here? Leave! I'm destroying the Marmota. Only I can do it! I'm one life. My death could save a whole country! Alicia, you're wrong. You could destroy them with your power. But that's not real victory. Real victory is something we must claim for ourselves without relying on your power. I can't. Welkin, I can't. Valkyrian blood runs in my veins. I'm not human like you are. You're right. It's true that you have powers that we don't have. But so what? You're still yourself, Alicia. Kind. Bright. A future baker. Alicia, has any of that changed? <sighs> you may be Valkyria, but you're still the same girl. Well, can I? You mean so much to me, Alicia. I will not let you come to harm. I will protect you. Alicia. I love you. Welcome. Alicia. Once this war is finished, will you be with me? I would be with you. Together. Always. Yes. Always.
Welkin. Alicia. Ooh, you're making me blush over here. But, uh, you sure that's wise? You know, this being a combat zone and all. Uh, hey! Just look at the happy couple. And I get the big scoop. That is, I would if it were anyone else. But for you two, well, I'll keep my big mouth shut. Just this once, you hear? Alicia, welcome back. Thank you. All of you. I missed you so. Um, you dropped this, boss. <laughs> so, welcome. We'll hear your orders. We go to hunt the Marmota. We'll head straight for Rangris. All right, everyone. Let's get moving! Sir, we're almost to the Great Vassal Bridge. Good. Once we cross that, Rangris is just a hop, skip, and a jump away. Ugh! The enemy is deployed, blocking the bridge! Those tanks are... That's Jaeger's battalion. Just our luck, it's him. Nice of you to join us, my militia friends. Nothing personal, but the road ends here. My country, Firald, needs Maximilian's support to regain its independence, you see. And if it means getting Firald back, I don't mind playing the man's guard dog. General Jaeger! The Gullians are attacking, sir! Let them attack. We'll show them what the tank brigade's made of. Lieutenant Faldio lands it? Get in. Huh. At least I get a roof over my head. I feel bad for the men on the front lines. I don't get it. How did two squad leaders wind up in a fight? Thought you were friends. No friend could do what I did to him. Now this is supposed to be solitary. Leave me alone, would you? Just don't do anything stupid for the next 10 days. Welkin. How do we get to thinking about the war so differently from one another? I figured we'd be friends as old men. I still wish that were possible. But I can't deny the feeling that Galia needs power to survive either. I hope we get the chance to talk this out. To talk about the Galia we want as old men. General Jaeger, the battalion has almost completely evacuated, sir. All right. Then you shall join with them at Randgrease. And tell this to his grace. The Gallian militia are not to be underestimated. Yes, sir. You won't be coming with us, sir? No. I shall not be returning to the Empire again. I placed my lot on Maximilian's army as the swiftest means to reclaim Firald's sovereignty. I thought force could restore our home. That military might was a country's strength. But then I found myself fallen to the Gallian militia. That is when I realized they fight in order to protect their homes, their families. Their dedication to this land is the strength that shall preserve Gallia. Ah, uh, yes. Tell His Grace another thing. True strength lies not in steel and powder. Valkov and the Marmota alone will not win this war. Sir, may the Valkyrer watch over you. 
And you. Right, we've broken through Vassal. We're in striking distance of Rangri's now. Welcome. I'm afraid I've got some bad news. The Marmota reached the gates at Rangri's. It plowed through them and into the castle. No, we're too late. Your Highness honors me with an audience. I offer my thanks. We, Maximilian, stand humbly before you. Your Highness, you must allow me to apologize for the somewhat brutish manner of my entrance to your domains. We'd expect no less from Europa's premier commander, the great Maximilian, to cross our sovereign border with such lightning speed. Your tactics are admirable. And you are the one they call Borg. You attempt to ally yourself with the Federation. Then you turn over a new leaf and become the Empire's informant. It is all to ensure that Gallia remain a stable nation, of course. Ours is a small land, as you know. Our fate is made secure by such agreements. The sovereign state of Gallia will accept unconditional surrender and become a vassal state to your Empire. In return, by our treaty, and your grace's favor, I, your humble servant, Borg, will rule Gallia in your stead. <laughs> I'm afraid you're mistaken. What use could we possibly have for Gallia as a vassal state? We, Maximilian, shall be the one to assume the Archduchy. And then, Gallia shall be made anew under us. But, but we agreed. Then as sole master of this palace, we shall wake the lance that lies resting within its walls. Falkov, the key to ruling all Europa. <gasps> the lance? How could you know? My dear princess, Cordelia, you shall serve as our bride. The Valkyrian bloodline, legacy of the great House Rongris, would be a fitting dowry for us, king of Europa. The Valkyrian bloodline? I see. You wish to ransom Europa with its power. Indeed. The reverence and respect the people of this continent hold for that ancient blood is undiminished to this day. Well then, I hate to disappoint you, but this is the true face of House Rongri. Your Highness, what are you doing? As you can see, my blood is not Valkyrian. It is Darkson. Princess, what is the meaning of this? Thousands of years past, the Valkyrie invaded from the north to lay claim to Europa. The indigenous people, the Darkson tribes, fought them for control of this land. But the powers of Ragnite they possessed were too great. The Darkson cities were burned. The struggle continued, though its conclusion was clear. Ultimately, one influential clan among the Darkson tribes defected to the Valkyrie side. The Darkson were defeated and 
quickly became slaves to the Valkyrie. And victorious, the Valkyra authored history to blame Darkseids for scorching the air. Of course, then the descendants of that clan of treacherous Darkseids lived on as... Yes, as House Rondgris, the Archdukes of Gallia. In return for their betrayal, the Valkyrie established them as the rulers of Gallia. We donned the identity of our masters and were complicit in the Darkson slander. With a perfect scapegoat, the people quickly acquiesced to new rule. A common tale. A common tale that has caused me much grief. To face my people deceptively has pained me. Until the day came that I ran from that pain, trading my free will for comfort. Were it not for a single officer's words, I would no doubt still be lost in that conceit. I am bound by neither fate nor duty to obey the false blood within me. I live by my own will. I live for the sake of Gallia and its people. This, and this alone, is my calling. All the more reason to be my bride. No. For the sake of my people, I shall see you dead! <laughs> <laughs> what delightful barbarism. Do all Gallian brides share your lust for blood? <laughs> If you desire safety for your people, it would behoove you to obey me, Highness. The Valkov is in my possession. To see your homeland burn again, that would be a shame. Has something happened? What's all the commotion? It's them. The Imperial Army invaded Rangris. What? They crashed through the city walls with a huge tank and drove it into the castle. And now they're doing some kind of work on the tank still half stuck into the castle. Work on that? Did they learn of the Valkov's location? No. I can't afford to wait around here. Sorry, but... <laughs> my... my chest... it's tight. It hurts. Hmm? What? What's wrong? My... my heart. I... Help. Help me. Are you all right? <laughs> uh. Hey! Talk to me! I'm sorry. Forgive me. I've got to get to Rangris. I just hope I'm in time. We're drawing close to Rangris now. As for our plan of attack, once we arrive, focus your attacks on the spot damaged by Sergeant Melchiot in the previous battle. Exploit that, gain access to the interior, and destroy the Dreadnought's engine. Follow? Yes, Captain. I'm confident you can do this, soldiers. You are dismissed. Quite a risky operation. I know. I'm worried about morale if everyone feels like it's a suicide mission. We're used to your crazy mission by now, aren't we guys? Yeah, you bet. 
Nothing bothers me anymore now. And it helps to know that if we can just win this one, our war will be over. We'll do it for Isara, and all the other friends we lost along the way. And for all of Galia's people. One more victory, and they'll have peace. Words fail me. Thank you. All right. Everybody, get ready to deploy. Almost showtime, huh, Welkin? Militia rides into Rand Gris showdown. Mind if I put you all story on the radio? I'm afraid I can't go help you fight. But I'd like to do what I can to stand by you, as ace journalist Irene Ellett. Okay, why not? Our activities are hardly a secret to the Empire at this point. Irene Ellett, huh? I can't remember ever hearing your full name like that. At least until the war ends and I get married. Then I'll be Irene Kohler, just FYI. This'll be my last big assignment as an Ellett. <sighs> Time to do the old name proud. Give me a status report on affixing the lance. Work should be complete shortly, followed by final testing, sir. Good. Keep it moving along, soldier. Yes, sir. I knew it. They came to the capital to get at the Valkov. Bastards. You won't have it. Now, your highness, affix your signature to this treaty of marriage. You have no choice if you wish to keep your people safe. <clears throat> your grace, sir! Be silent. This treaty seals our victory. Sir, the Gallians have broken through the vassal defenses. General Jaeger is defeated! Now the militia is headed here to Ranbury's even as we speak. What? Newsflash from Radio GBS, your source for the news. The Gallian militia has faced and thwarted the Empire's defenses at Vassal Bridge. They march now to the capital to liberate it from occupation. All right! That's my bro, Welkin! No, Lauren! Huh. Reckon I did a fair job whipping those kids into shape. cheering for you. Make us proud. <laughs> Belgian, if you're watching up there, your son could probably use a little help. So be it. We shall fight them off ourselves. Quickly, to the Marmota. Yes, sir. <laughs> Last time, their war witch had us on the defensive. But now we possess a lance of our own. Let us settle this now for all time. Your grace, may the Valkyra protect you. Leave the defense, castle round to me. Do we look the fool that might trust a dog with so little loyalty to his master as you? Put this man to death by violence. The Galia of tomorrow has no place for you. Mm -hmm. 
back, Maximilian. We had agreed. We had an understanding. All right, come along. Stop this! Desisted ones, who are you to touch me? thing on top. I've seen that. It's just like the Valkyrian Lance, the one that Alicia carried. Look out, Sevens! Clear the Marmotus forward path! Move it! The Gallian militias fanned out ahead of us in a line, sir. Range, 4,000 meters. They say that in antiquity, the Valkyra called upon Valkov's light to crush and subjugate the entire Darkson tribe. The greatest weapon of all time, fashioned into something as pedestrian as a castle tower. How could they have known? And now it awakens. Shouldered by the Marmota, we have engineered to bear it, a leviathan upon the land. Now, know the futility of your struggles. Bow before the terrible light that once scorched the earth. Even one step slower, we'd be a big pile of dust by now. Stay clear of the front of that thing! Move around to its side! <laughs> Dare you face us yet after that display? <laughs> Dare you face us yet? After that display, we wield power enough to bring any foe to his knees. This is the future face of warfare. To impress the magnitude of our power upon the world, you shall all die gruesomely. Now, cross us if you dare. Our history of unrivaled glory begins here. Okay, let's find the engine and kill it. That would be most inconvenient. Maximilian, show yourself! The finest engineers of the Empire shed both blood and tears to forge this Valkyrian shield and spear. As you will observe, their powers exceed even the originals. Stop this! Haven't enough men died? Why are you doing this? Why we fight for our dream? Do you not think that reason enough? So many have died for less. Besides, we must. Rightful vengeance must be meted out. 
What is this? We were born an imperial prince. But our mother was of low station. For this, our father shunned us. The other heirs saw us as a threat to their ascension. They bombed our train when we were but a child. Though we survived by some cruel miracle, the fates were not so kind to Mother and the rest. On that day, we swore an oath. We would take the Empire and the Emperor's throne for our own. For years, we sought a way to lay our rightful claim to the Empire. And at last, our answer has come. Let me guess. You're talking about the Valkyrie's power. The time of wars waged by men wielding powder and steam is fated to end ere long. The new age will be shaped by emperors, not men. Yes, he who wields the destructive power of the Valkyra grips the very reins of history. Peasants, let us end this! We shall never stop! Not while we draw breath! Damn you! Dogs of Gallia! It's time to surrender, Maximilian. Your war is over! <laughs> surrender, you say? I think you forget. We Valkyra can give our lives to fuel a blazing hot inferno of destruction! Don't do this! It doesn't have to end like this! It seems our dreams are not to be. Well then, join us! Let Galia fall to ash! Why has it stopped? My guess is, it's because I killed the power supply. Folio! You made it! I snuck out in time to hitch a ride on this monster. I'm sorry it took me so long to stop the engine. No matter my reasons, I was wrong to have betrayed you. Now, it's time that I paid for what I have done. Let go! Let us go now! Look at the two of us, thinking power could save us. Now it's our cue to leave the stage. Farewell, Welkin, Alicia. Best of luck.
back to your side! There's no time for that! Stay here any longer, you put the whole squad at risk! Listen! I'm not saying this again! You're going to leave now! That's an order! Ugh. Damn it all! Sevens, we're leaving! Get off of the Barbona! The deck's a lost cause. Alicia, let's find a way up. Right. Lead on. I'm not afraid when I'm with you. Ever. Now let's go. Thanks. Right. Let's move! One, bro. Leon, it must have taken forever to finish building this. Where did you find the time? After we lost Isara, Casey and myself, well, everyone in the squad really came by to pitch in a hand. It was Isara's dream, you know? So, uh, it wasn't hard finding help. I don't suppose it was. Isara, you'll always live inside us. The dreams you left that day, now they're all of ours. Rest in peace. So tell me, bro, how far are we going today? This baby could take us clear across the sea if we want. Back home. Back to a free country. Our friends are waiting. Take us to Rangrees. The 25th day of October, 1935. The death of Maximilian, commander of the Empire's invasion of Gallia, paved the way for truce between the two nations. After seven tumultuous months at war, Gallians everywhere looked forward to a time of hard-won peace. Squad 7 of the Gallian militia disbanded shortly after the conflict's conclusion. And its members began to move on, each following his or her own path. And here, at the end of their long struggle, I lay my pen to rest.
Mr. G! You gotta take us bug hunting again soon, okay? You bet. You know, I think you're ready for my top secret hunting spot. Yippee! Thank <laughs> you! We'll see you tomorrow! Yep. Go right along home now. Welcome, Gunther. After the war, he returned to his studies. Many had thought the Galleon hero would rise to further fame, but Welkin had something else in mind. He returned to Bruel, there to realize his long-held dream of becoming a teacher. On weekends, he's often seen taking his students out on nature hikes. His is a peaceful civilian life, and he would have it no other way. Choosing Alicia's. Hey, honey. How's business today? Hey. Hey, you. What a surprise. Guess what? So I started selling the smoked cheese bread today, and everybody loves it. Of course. Told you that bread was great. Guess everyone in town agrees with me. Yeah. <laughs> Alicia Gunther. Trading in her rifle for a rolling pin, Alicia trained around the clock to pursue her dream. After many long months, she received her national certification as Baker. On the same day, she married her sweetheart, Welkin Gunther. Together, the two opened Alicia's Bakery. It didn't take long for word to spread about her delicious creations. And now, even visitors from far away make a point of stopping to sample her fresh baked bread. How about you? How are your classes today? Ah, uh, you know, those kids never seem to run out of questions. <laughs> you know, they're amazing. Their curiosity's endless. That's so. Then you're a kid, too. You're as incurably curious as any one of them. <laughs> Speaking of kids, how's Isara been today? Mike? <gasps> Papa! Hey there! Have you been a good girl? Yep, I was real good. I was just helping Mama make some bread. I needed the dough all by myself. Oh, I wish you could have tasted the bread that dough made. Our customer said it was the best ever. Hey, Isara, that's really great. All right, you show me how and I'll help, okay? Yay! Come on, Papa, I'll teach you. 